Now the United Nations body noted that people around the world were either suffering from obesity or food insecurity. People globally should eat healthy diets for a zero hunger world, the United Nations Food and Agriculture Organization has said in a booklet that it released ahead of World Food Day on October the 16th. The document states that shifting to a healthier diet by eating more seasonal fruits and vegetables and reducing the consumption of junk food could help in meeting the zero hunger goal of the United Nations mandate, mandated sustainable developmental goals. Over 820 million people, approximately one in nine people around the world, were hungry and malnutrition affects one in every three people, the FAO noted. And now with me in the studio is uh, Olu Sheye Adironke, who is a certified holistic practitioner and the CEO of FD Herbals and Essential Oils. She joins me now in the studio to shed more light on today's event. Today is World Food Day and it's good to have you here. Thank you. Now, first of all, what do you consider healthy eating? Okay, um, what I consider healthy eating is taking foods that are as close to nature as possible. Um, eradicating the junk, taking off, you know, any chemical leading food, you know, from our diet. So basically, eating healthy is taking foods that are close to nature, that have not gone through so much processing, you know, and they don't have so much, uh, you know, synthetic chemicals added to them. So basically, that is healthy. How, how possible is that for us, especially in Nigeria? It is very, very possible. Very, very possible. And that doesn't necessarily translate to being expensive because um, that is one misconception people have that mm -hmm. eating healthy eating uh, living a healthy um, lifestyle is expensive it is or not the fit farm things oh, it's, it's not even fit it's not even about feed farm okay you understand i tell people um, i've been living this life for three going to four years now I am not a fit farm person. I, had, I don't have any weight I want to lose. My goal is to live healthy yeah. so that my body can work the way it should. Um, so it is, it's not expensive. I tell people if we can as much as look at the things we have around us, because I think, again, perspective matters a lot. So if you look at the things we have around us, for instance, I know that you know, walking on the streets, you could have trees that have fruits on them. You know, we just tend to ignore them and like, oh, it's not food, because I get that a lot fruits are not food but interestingly if you're looking for the number one food any human being should be eating their fruits wow. okay so i know that you do a lot of things with food herbs and all of that and particularly herbs um, i want to ask why do we need herbs even Okay, the reason why we need herbs is that we live in a time where things have changed, things are changing. Mm -hmm. um, I tell people a lot that the things that we are battling with today as a generation, our forefathers didn't have to battle with that. There's global warming and all that. We have so much toxins in the hair. Our parents didn't have to deal with that. So herbs come into play by helping our bodies to function the way they should, you know, help to eliminate toxins from the body, helps to recalibrate, you know, our, our system, helps to, you know, just put it in a very, very conducive um, atmosphere for our vitals to work effectively. So basically those are the things that herb, herbs do, apart from the fact that they also have medicinal properties, you know, that also help to fortify the system, build the immune, our immune system, you know, our respiratory system, our circulatory system, you know, your heart is pumping the way it should, you're getting the right amount of blood and all that. So basically, herbs just help our body to function but the way they are supposed to. In relation to food, how do we use them now in, in food? Okay, in relation to food, herbs are, are taking a steel Cheese, basically, you know, they're taking as teas um, or for, for, for some herbs, you could mix them with your fruits, your smoothies, your juices. Now, when I say juices, I don't mean packaged juices. Mm -hmm. I mean the freshly, freshly juiced fruits. Impressive. Yes. So you could add some of them, you know, to, to eat. Now, some herbs need to be boiled. Some herbs need to be steeped. Some can just be taken directly chewed and all that. Mm. But that's a different, it's a whole different ball game um, entirely. So these are ways that we can incorporate them. You wake up in the morning, you take your about teas, and even before you take anything into your system, you know, at all, you know, that way it also helps to clean out your system, mm. helps to, you know, basically helps your body to function, you know, the way it should. Okay, so in terms of healthy uh, food, we've had a lot of conversation around oils, you know, which one is healthy and which one is not healthy. And apart from the oils that we take, I know you do something also around essential oils. Okay. Now, what are essential oils and how do we apply them? How do we use them also? Oh, okay, essential oils basically are, they are liquids that are extracted from 
plants mm -hmm. and they, are, they have very volatile you know chemical compounds um, that makes them that in that volatile chemical compound is where their potency lies now um, essential oils are not like our coconut oil our olive oils our um, um, olive oils, castor oils, you know, and other carrier oils, but they are very, very potent, and you know, a little goes a long way. You know, in dealing with, you know, f I'm going to, you know, just cite an example. You have respiratory issues. As little as using well, just one drop, you know, of peppermint essential oil in hot water and you know just doing some steam therapy and all that could help to clear your nasal passages you know bring out all the muco that is eating you know in your nasal airways and all that just brings them out and just find that you are either coughing them out or you are you know blowing them out through through your nose so basically essential oils are by default by rule of the thumb are applied topically meaning that they are applied either on the skin or you know you're using you know steam therapy and all that but they must not be used directly mm. on the skin Okay. So I do know, again, uh, that you're an advocate for natural food and healthy uh, living, healthy eating. Yeah. Now, how do we cope in, in, in our situation, for instance, in Nigeria, where almost everything we eat is packed, you know, from all kinds of junk? How do we cope? How do, you, how do we manage eating healthy food, you know, as opposed to junk, especially among young people, too? Um, the truth of the matter is this, and this is one thing I tell people a lot, what you stock is what you will eat. If you stock the junks, you will not have any choice other than to eat junks. But they're always staring at us. They're always staring at us, but we need to decide for ourselves mm. which route we want to go. If I, if I stock the junks and I know the side effects it's going to have on my body, and if I take fruits, healthy food, and you know, I see what it's going to do to my body, then I weigh it, my which options. is better, mm. yeah. Which is better. So if I know that taking healthy food is going to do me a lot of good, then no matter what, you know, is staring at me right in the face, you understand, then I would have to ditch it. And I would like to say this, we don't have to get to a point where we have life-threatening um, health issues because that is another perspective. When people are faced with life-threatening issues, then they now think, oh, it is time to eat healthy. But why don't you go healthy? Why don't you eat your fruits now? You know, rather than wait for that life-threatening situation to come and then you think and then at that point the very food that they thought they could not ditch mm. they now find out that see at this point i don't have a choice i have to ditch it and you know go the healthy route and really it is not difficult as simple as waking up in the morning and the first thing that goes into your system is a glass of freshly you know juiced fruit if you can't juice it chew it mm. you understand that way you're even fuller and you know you probably will not be hungry maybe till midday you understand? Because when you chew your fruit, you're chew chewing, I mean, you, you have fiber, you have vitamins, you have your, I mean, it's just, it's just amazing, really. Mm. Thank you very much. It's, it's important to stay healthy, and thanks for your uh, input there. Thank you very much.